Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will study how to calculate or determine the magnetic field generated by a moving charge particle. Now, we know that a moving charge particle generates a magnetic field. In the same light, electric current also generate magnetic fields. This reason is because current electricity is actually due to the flow of charges. This means that the magnetic field generated by a given wire is the sum total of all the magnetic field generated by all the electrons that constitute the current in that wire. But the question I want to ask is, how do we determine this magnetic field? To do so, we use what we call the beard severed law. Just as a rehearsal, electric charges, when at rest or when in motion, generate electric fields. To calculate the electric field at a given point in space, we employ what we call Coulomb's law. Now, on the other hand, magnetic fields can either be calculated using the barrett severed law or the Ampere's law. But the major objective of this lesson is to show you how to use the barrett severed law in the calculations of the magnetic fields generated by either a moving charge particle or a current carrying conductor. But what really is this law? The barrett severed law was formulated by two profound physicists. You have Jean-Baptiste Biot and Felix Severt. Now this law is actually an empirical or experimental law, which means that this law was actually determined from experiments in the laboratory. Now, there are two scenarios that we will apply this law. We will apply this law to calculate the B field generated by a moving charge particle, and we will use this law to calculate the B field generated by a current carrying conductor. If you are asked to define or state the barrett severed law, it is principally a mathematical expression determined from experiments that gives us the relationship between a moving charge particle and the magnetic field or the current producing the magnetic field and the field it produces. Let us start first by looking at the field generated by a moving charge. Suppose we have a charged particle, let's say it's positive, and the particle is moving upwards with a certain velocity v. Let's say we want to calculate the field at this point p, and the distance from the moving charge to that point p is r. Let's define the unit position vector pointing from Q to P to be R cap. Barrett Severt found out that the magnetic field at point P is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi Q V cross R cap divided by R squared. Now, mu naught is a constant known as the permeability of free space and it's equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meters per amperes. R cap, as you already know, is a unit position vector directed 
from Q to R. If you observe carefully, you will note that R cap is defined as R bar divided by R. So, the magnetic field produced at point P can therefore be rewritten as mu naught over 4 pi multiplied by QV cross R bar all divided by R cubed. What do you observe? You will observe that in the numerator you have the cross product of velocity and uh, the position vector. What does this mean? This means that the magnetic field at point P is perpendicular to the velocity of the charged particle as well as the position vector. This is actually very interesting because when you compare the direction of the magnetic field at point P and the direction of the electric field at point P, they are markedly different. The direction of an electric field around a point charge is either radially outwards or radially inwards. Now, let's if, if this is positive, then the electric field will point radially outwards like that but if it's negative the electric field will point radially inwards in the case of a moving charge let's say that this charge is moving in that direction v and we want to determine the direction of the magnetic field at that point P. This is the direction of the unit vector. What we will do is we will use what we call the right hand row. And using this row, you will place your right hand opened in the direction of V and sweep towards R and your thumb will point in the direction of B. So B is pointing into the board. So the magnetic field at point P is actually into the page and it's denoted as that. So this is into the page. Normally, if you see this symbol, it means out of page. And if you see this symbol, it means the field is going into the page. So the big difference between electric field lines and magnetic field lines is that magnetic field lines is always perpendicular to the plane containing the charge, but electric field lines will be parallel to the plane containing the charge. Another way for you to look at this is if you grab the charged particle with your thumb pointing in the direction of motion of the charged particle, then your curl fingers will point in the direction of the magnetic fields. So you see that the, my thumb is pointing in the direction of motion of the charge. So my curl fingers is actually in the direction of the magnetic field around the charged particles. Now let's look at the case of the magnetic field produced by a current carrying conductor. Let's consider a conductor this is our conductor this conductor carries a current I and we want to calculate the magnetic field at point P due to this current carrying conductor now what you need to understand is that 
This conductor can be broken down into smaller segments. These segments are called length elements. So this is my length element. So the total length of the conductor is the sum total of all the length element that makes up that given conductor. Now, the length element is actually a vector that points in the direction of current. You have to take note of that. Bowd's seven law basically tells us that the magnetic field due to that little segment of the conductor is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi multiplied by i dl cross r cap all divided by r squared the length element here is dl i prefer to use dl and this can be rewritten as mu naught 4 pi i dl cross r bar divided by r cube these are all the vector form of bout severed law for a current carrying conductor remember that mu naught remains the permeability of free space and r is basically the distance between the current segment and that particular point now i dl is known as the current element which basically is the source of the magnetic field this means that the magnetic field at point P is the sum total of all the magnetic fields due to the current elements that make up what this given wire so to recall the main points moving charges create B fields given by electric current create B fields given by and this provides us with a very precise means of calculating the fields generated by moving charges and electric current now if you look at the last expression, you will also observe the numerator and therefore you could conclude that the B field at any point is perpendicular to the current element as well as the unit position vector. This means that the direction of the field around a current carrying conductor is given by the right hand rule. Now, if you grab the wire with your right hand, with your thumb pointing in the direction of current, then your curl fingers will point in the direction of the magnetic field. Thank you.